Hello YouTube, welcome to Ambrose Landscaping YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing a review on the PB770T backpack lower from Echo. So let's go ahead and get started. guys so let's go ahead and get started on the review first let's do an over review on what happened so echo reached out to us um, and sent us this backpack blower for free in exchange they want me to give my true honest opinion on what I thought about the product and basically what's happening is that echo is becoming well more known as a homeowner brand rather than a professional brand and so they're starting to kind of remarket and kind of get out there that they're strictly you know all of their stuff is strictly professional grade uh, so they asked us, you know, what kind of equipment that they wanted to send us that we can do a review on. And I told them, I said, well, the only things I don't use of Echo uh, is a backpack blower and a backpack spur and those brands I use for steel. <clears throat> and so we'll go ahead and start with the Blast from the Past or whatever. And uh, what happened was when I started my company a couple years ago, or a few years ago, I'm sorry, um, I was looking at the Echo backpack lowers and like I said, I'm usually a pretty big Echo fan and when I tried on the PB500 that you can buy just down at Home Depot, I believe it's PB500, I didn't really care for it. I thought the straps were, uh, I thought the padding was really bad, um, didn't really care for the look of it and um, just wasn't really overall impressed with it. it. It just felt really uncomfortable on my back and so I didn't really care for that. And so, um, and so I decided to stick with uh, or to go with the Steel BR600 because uh, I hear a lot of great things about them. They have a lot of power and the padding was just a lot better. Plus my dealer is also a steel dealer. And so when they asked me uh, what product we wanted to review, I told them I wanted to review this one because I do hear a lot of great things about the backpack blowers, but I never used them. So I, I wanted to use the commercial ones since the 500, I don't, even though they're all professional grade, this is you know more for the, the higher end stuff. So I was happy that they sent us this. Um, my first view of it was um, it was a lot nicer than I thought and to be honest I thought when they were going to send me this that um, it was just going to be a backpack lower I used for my video real quick and that I would stick with my BR600s because you know that was just my mindset and uh, since using this over the past few weeks um, it has definitely changed my mind I actually do really enjoy using this backpack lower me and my employee use it all the time um, there's a lot of great things that I like about it and a couple things that maybe that things can change. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the pros first. So we're going to go ahead and get started with the pros on the backpack blower. Um, the first thing I noticed when I started this up and put it on was uh, honestly how quiet it was. Um, I was actually very shocked how quiet it was and compared to the BR600 that thing those things are really loud and where we do a lot of our work is a lot of you know condo associations where it's a lot of elderly people so they don't want all this really loud equipment going around so honestly using this and especially since we do a lot of commercial accounts since we're out on the streets walking by people um, it's definitely nice to have something a little bit quieter where we're not annoying them too much where um, if people are just sitting outside we can easily just come up to the driveway and it's not as much a disturbance as the BR600. So the next thing we're going to talk about is the padding. Uh, this was one of the first reasons why I actually didn't want to buy an Echo was uh, I tried on I believe is the PB500 that's at Home Depot and I thought the padding was very cheap it was very uncomfortable on my back uh, but definitely for the 770 it's really nice. Um, it has you know some nice thick strap padding that way it's not digging into your shoulders uh, when you're walking around and then it has this foam flexible padding in the back um, where while you're walking it kind of it's kind of bouncing on your back so you, it's not really digging into your back where on the BR600 it kind of has the same foam you know paddings that they have on the straps as well so another thing that's nice about the, the back padding that we were just talking about is that it also has this vent in the back uh, so what's nice is that especially in the in the hot summers when you know you're walking around and you're starting to sweat that vent actually cools down your back and it actually feels quite nice uh, so that it's not getting all sweaty and I noticed this after using just quite a bit you know of course it's a little bit colder here 
So, but since we're using sweatshirts, it's not as bad, but definitely when we wear our t-shirts and it's a really hot day, it's nice to have that kind of vent in the back to kind of cool you, cool you down while you're walking around. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is the gas tank. Now, one thing I do love about this thing compared to the BR600 is that this one is more visible. So you can actually see how much fuel there is where on the steel it's not. And so what's nice is that it actually has a much easier fill hole than the steel does, where the steel, in order to fill it up completely, you actually have to tip it on its side, where with the Echo, you don't. So it's kind of nice to know, like I said, since it's more visible, you can easily see if you're about to run out for, um, especially if my, my employees use it, and I can tell them, hey, you're getting low, go fill up before you take on this next whole street, so you don't have to walk all the way back to the truck. Or on the steel, it's a little bit harder to see that. And um, so definitely a pro on the Echo. All right, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is easy access to the spark plug and the air filter. Uh, we're on the still, you have to use tools in order to get access to that by either removing some covers. This one, just by simply flipping up this rubber tab and then also unscrewing these little side bolts on the Echo, uh, you don't have to bring these tools around with you all the time to do that. Uh, didn't realize how important that was, uh, especially if you are if you wanna just quickly check your air, air filter if you're out of job or say if you forget your tools and you're you know at the store to go buy a new filter you can just easily do it uh, right then and there is, instead of having to bring your toolbox with you so the next thing we're going to talk about is the throttle control uh, one thing i do like about this is that it does have an easy adjustable throttle control where you can simply just either move it up and down to your designated like speed but on the steel what happens is that you have to either pull the trigger and then lock it in at that time and uh, that's how you keep it at that throttle control where this one you can easily just adjust it what we do like about that is that it's a lot simpler to like blow out leaves in the beds for when we do fall cleanups, uh, since we do use the bath deck blowers to do so. Um, if it's too much power and you can't really adjust it easily, then what happens is that it starts blowing all the bark and soil out into the grass, which creates more of a mess. So having a little bit more throttle control um, and for adjusting it makes it a lot easier to do that. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is the clamps that hold the pipes all together. Uh, when I first saw these, to be honest, I didn't really care for them. I thought they looked kind of, uh, they look kind of cheesy, and it kind of remind me of a plumber's, um, like something that you would see on a plumbing pipe or whatever. But to be honest, it's actually a little bit better than I thought because you can easily just go get these clamps straight down at Home Depot or any hardware store. Where on the other backpack lowers, it's a little bit harder. You actually have to get specific ones from the dealers. So if my clamp ever comes undone or if I ever strip it out, I can simply just go down to Home Depot and pick a few of these up uh, for very cheap. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is simple, easy to use knobs throughout the backpack blower. Um, there's a few of them. One of them is on the air filter system and then the other one is on the handle. And what's nice about those is, you know, you're not having to carry a tool with you every time you have to do it. You don't have to worry about stripping out uh, any kind of screw or so if you don't have the correct tool or not. So what's nice about having these finger tight and that you can easily uh, loosen them with your fingers is that it just makes it so much easier to get to where if you forget the tool or you have to change something right away, um, it's just fast and simple to do it. All right guys, so now we're gonna talk about the cons. Now we only have a couple, surprisingly for them, uh, just because there's a lot of great things. I think Echo did a really good job uh, on this backpack blower. But the first thing we're just gonna talk about, something that's very simple, is the top handle right here. Uh, when we first grab it, it's, it's very uncomfortable on the back side. It kind of has these rivets where it kind of cuts into your hand. Not that you're carrying it all the time, but when you do do it, it um, kind of does hurt your hand, but we simply just use electric tape and just went over it a few times just to kind of give it a nice little grip. So nothing too major, but if I could adjust that or tell Echo, I would say put some kind of a little bit nicer handle or smoother handle on top so that it doesn't hurt your hand. All right, so the next thing we're gonna talk about on the cons list is a longer tube for the blower. Uh, even though you can adjust this, we have it, as of right now, we have it at its longest setting and it's still not long enough. Uh, what's nice about the Steel BR600 is that it has a longer tube. So for a tall guy, especially if you're over six feet tall, uh, what's nice is that since that longer tube does help get a little bit closer to the ground where you're not having to bend over, and especially if there's any debris on it and it rains and the grass is wet, you need that extra strength and that extra reach to kind of, you know, get it off the ground. Uh, so that's one thing I would say that, you know, on the cons list is that just a little bit longer tube uh, to where it makes it easier for some taller guys. All right, so the last con that we have on the list, like I said, it's a very short list, is 
The only thing I'm afraid of is easy to break parts. Um, the only thing with certain things being stuck out like this, like um, you know, for the foot platform, is that if it could easily fall or get snagged onto something that it can easily crack. Uh, where the steel, it's kind of all one piece. So whether you drop it or not, you you know, things aren't gonna break too easily. So the only thing I would say is probably having it a little bit more compact together uh, in some pieces, even though this kind of flexes like that, and I think it's built for that design, uh, but some kind of attachment to where uh, it would, I would say not make it as flimsy and make it a little bit stronger and sturdier. And that way, just in case if it does fall or get snagged on something, it's not gonna crack. All right guys, so that was the PB770 Echo Backpack Blower Review. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, though we only got to use this thing for a couple months, that was definitely a, a quick little review of the pros and cons that we thought about it. Of course, we're gonna be putting a lot more hours and time on this, so there could be possibly a, another review coming in a few months once we really get to like work it in and uh, have it into our routine schedule. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy this, like I said, uh, my first thoughts about backpack blowers from Echo was that they were cheap and they felt cheap and then they had no power but after they sent me this thing uh, it's completely changed my mind. Uh, though we just bought a brand new BR600 just a couple months ago, uh, once either those get old or go out uh, we're definitely going to be switching over to the 770 just because uh, they really surprised me. Uh, the biggest thing I think I loved about it the most is how quiet it is. Um, it just it does really help. I love listening to music when I um, when we're working and so having this thing be a little bit quieter so I can focus more on my music and don't have to turn it up as much uh, is definitely a plus for me. So though this was a short pros and cons list and a short review since we only had a little bit of time with it, uh, hopefully it was good enough for you guys. Uh, like I said, Echo, they uh, do a lot of amazing things. We have a lot of other Echo products from their trimmers, their weed whackers. We even have their hand blowers, but like I said, for some reason, we just didn't care for the backpack blowers, but that's completely changed now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Like, subscribe, and we will see you guys next time on Ambrose Landscaping.